Okie doke. <clears throat> Here we are. So I need to fix the energy converters. Uh, which would be this general direction. Not that way, though. Probably right there, huh? Looks looks to be. Man, the hiss is strong over here. Well, that was certainly unexpected, wasn't it? <clears throat> oh, my. I, I so often am hitting X to reload. Who wants it? I killed my unde undead streak again. I'm struggling with that. <clears throat> Alright, we got some new mods. Energy cost 9 or 11. Red minus seven. That might be kind of nice. Reload speed. That actually might be kind of nice too. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, the combat's definitely getting harder, isn't it? Oh, a control point. Right up. You need to fix it before the old trick man's inside the plant has a shit fit. I press ah ah. I press uh, X to reload, and I just called it square too. Again, I press the X. Like, it's really weird not reloading at all. Oh! Get out of there. From where? From where? beans bro I need them whoa all right that noise sounds good right Big fan of these shelters. Not this one, though. This one's crap. It's really unsettling.
threshold remnant. Can't get in there. Oh, I, I just completely missed it, it seems. I need that. Throw it over there, I guess. Oh, oh god. Yeah. Rips it out of the ground. You want to go? All right, where's our rocket man at? Oh, there he is. Yep, that's how you know that's how you empty a clip right there. That's how you do it. little guy. Oh, there he is. Adios. Let's go lift the lock down. Bam. Everything is looking green. Calling up the elevator, I guess. I don't know what this room... Oh!
capsules contain. <laughs> That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. <clears throat> you two should get to know each other. Uh, strange. Uh, countermeasures, what did I got? Spin. I barely have enough. It's like a machine gun, it seems. This guy, I need memory to build him. Uh, is there any good reason to wait? Um, what am I doing here? I'll go here first. So can I fast travel to her? Yeah, I could go exactly to where she is. Why not? Voila! Hope has asked us to document the his incantation, as she calls it. You mean like in person? In person, with a pencil and paper. Look at that but she's trying to get us killed. Jesse, you made it, and you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. She just yes, talks like course. a bad guy. They all do, though. They're all weirdos. Listen, Emily. <clears throat> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. 
The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes, but one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my keycard. The sector elevator will take you there. Well, why didn't she give me that, like, ages ago? Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. I and like... when time comes, I will come calling. What the fuck? I feel like I helped him more than he helped me. New mission. Maintenance major. Wait, oh. I heard the hiss attack the power plant. Brings well, up a lot of time to uh, communicating. Fast travel to. Is ventilation the closest? Sure. I heard the hiss attack the power plant. Brings up a lot of questions. Ah, uh, shit. Research parapsychology. Here it is. It's so pretty here. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance. And in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Mm. 
research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. It's so pretty. I love these trees. going not that way every time <laughs> and what's the deal with the head and resonance anyway? I Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not modern devices. They're not listening to your conversations. You do that regardless That's of awesome. You're wearing an HRA. Think of them as a uh, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and. You'll be glad you got a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. You thirsty? Ah. Good thing I left all these beans sitting around. I love leftover beans.
Man, they're starting to really load in the bad guys, aren't they? I swear, one of these I'm gonna open it up and there's gonna be a bunch of baddies in it. Slightly sketchy. Uh, Alright. This place is a maze. <clears throat> I think I need to go down. Ah. God, this whispering in my ears is making me go crazy. Ugh, it's so freaky down here. Oh! Okay, how did I miss this? I didn't notice that. with it. What? It. Oh, it's soundproofed in there. The sound in this game is excellent. <clears throat> um, I mean, I'm not talking about that groovy song. I'm just saying in general, I'm very impressed with the. I play with headphones, and uh, it's impressive. Very impressive. Good stuff. Okay, I'm going to parapsychology. That's up. Hubert? Hubert. <laughs> Parapsychology is up that way. I find myself in it another bathroom. My 
frame frame rate is better in this bathroom than just about anywhere else in this game. Riddle me that. Oh, there's two. There's gotta be something in one of the get out of that urinal woman. Like there's really nothing in any of these. Oh here it is. Uh. Okay, I got new assets I guess. Great, love assets. Um new personal mods. This twenty one percent fifteen, goodbye. Nineteen sixteen, goodbye. Holy shit, I got so many now. Recoil. That's okay, I don't I don't need it. They're all different too. What do I have now? Projectiles fired plus three. I wonder if the spread is better. Ah, right, let's try this. Let's do that as well. I mean, she's breathing harder than normal lately, and I am, uh... This place just seems to be a little more stressful, doesn't it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Oh. Yes, I have clearance. What's your clearance, Clarence? She's in trouble. Three. I need to reach her.
god. Oh my god. Ugh. Beautiful and lovely. It's similar to an iceberg. What you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the Astro Plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid. The board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Constructs. I could upgrade again. hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but. When one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Uh, executive major targets, go to pneumatics. Where is pneumatics? Nowhere even close to where I am. But isn't there a control? Yeah, there's a control point right here. Alright, so pneumatics would be... Uh... <clears throat> it's tough to say if I'd be able to get there. We'll try it. Oh. 
That was it. I don't understand, but... edit that out. I don't know. I, I went off on a little tangent area. It was kind of pointless. So I'll just open this. That seems dumb. Um, am I running? Oh. Well, that, that doesn't seem any good, does it? What the fuck? What does this do? I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. 
Oh god. Is he coming or what? That didn't work. There's no power there. Oh. Oh god! Do I have to trap this guy in here or what? There, how about that? How about that? What the fuck? That's so strange. Now he's just in the soundproof room. Here's this thing. I can't explain it. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. Oh. So close. We need to hurry. Okay, I need to find Marshall. <laughs> Ow. Is that guy sitting in a chair? Spare any beans, sir. Please, may I, may I have some beans? God, really? Wow, 
Alright, he took that chair like a champ, I gotta say. Ooh, alright. <clears throat> They're really starting to send a lot out, aren't they? I'll take that, please. <laughs> 